Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel, Dev Chanel's 48's World. And I am Dev Chanel. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Salutations to everybody. Okay, we're going to get into a story about Mike and Cynthia have come to their minds, or making up their minds, I should say, and getting a prenup. Now that's a solid idea, okay? Go on and get it because I don't know how y'all going to be. I don't know if y'all going to last more than a decade or a... Uh, 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 but uh, hell, what is it? Five years. So yes, go on and get it in writing. Go on and get it to where whoever's getting what is getting just that and none, nothing other than that. Okay, but we're going to get on into the story. This story is actually brought out by Love B. Scott. Go check her YouTube channel out and her other platform. She also is a blogger, has her own website where she talks about different topics in the entertainment field and political issues as well as everyday life and living, okay? But um, it doesn't give us a person who actually wrote it, so we're going to say the article was written by a staff correspondent journalist over there at the Love B. Scott uh, platform, okay? But anyway, the title was given as Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill say they're all for a prenup. I've had my money taken before and pretty much Mike said I ain't going to get it taken again. Now, I don't know how somebody can take something from you, especially when you sit up there and marry them. Okay, you knew what kind of financial situations your partner, wife was in at that time before you start making all this money and claiming that it was yours. Now, you definitely submitted as a record, that she was a dog. You cheated on your first wife so bad that it was just shameless, okay? So she deserved all the money that she probably got from you. And the second wife, it seems like she was touch and go. She didn't necessarily need you, but just maintenance her from time to time if you get what I'm saying, okay? Other than that, she had her own money. But she might have thought about, since you did cheat on her too, she wanted to get you back. So she took your money away from you okay so it is is what it is we really don't know really don't care if you had prenups with them but it seems like you got hurt in the mess because you said you had your money taken from you okay it is what it is okay but um we go into the article it says cynthia bailey and mike hill have learned from past mistakes and plan on signing a prenup before walking down the aisle vi page six i guess they got some of the commentary uh, for their article that they had wrote written out for us to view from page six it goes on to say the real housewives of atlanta star 52 revealed on sunday night's episode or watch what happens live that she and her sportscaster fiance 49 plan to sign a prenup ahead of their october 10th 2020 wedding now sidebar cynthia i'm just saying don't go to his lawyer honey go to your own get randy kessler up there he seems to be uh the Real Housewives of Atlanta lawyer or attorney that y'all may have on uh, what you call hold or retainer fees or whatnot. So you need to go see him. Make sure you got an ironclad because we know what your situation you went through with Peter and him, you know, taking some of your funds. But did he necessarily take it? Did you not know what he was doing? I think you did. Okay. Especially when you start seeing transactions for the negative coming out and not no revenue for the positive coming in. So it was your fault you didn't get one with Peter. It's a shame that you have to look and see. You have to judge prior to y'all actually getting in the marriage. Should we or should we not? But if you're like spoiled and you watch your penny uh very tightly and you're not freely given then yeah i guess you would need a prenup okay because we don't want to hear you hollering if things don't work out about what you brought to the table and the other person didn't bring nothing but a bean bag okay but anyway uh we go on from that situation it says i think it's just smart it protects everyone and we're working on some great things together she said in response to a fan question about the legal document we actually had this conversation with Candy Burris and Todd Tucker and we got a chance to see how they kind of like worked it out well I can tell you from sidebar um, it was no workout it was either you gonna do it or we ain't getting married <laughs> Candy would have just cried herself to sleep or whatnot, but she would have got over it, honey. And she said, I will push on. But before we walk down this is, this little aisle we're talking about, before we do anything together, oh, that, that that's going to be taken care of. Because 
I know how men are. I know, and I work too damn hard out here to uh, scrape and scrape and scrounge and all this kind of thing to let you come in and take all of it. I'm talking about you won't have, but you didn't build nothing to that half. Now, I'll front you money. I'll take care of you as much as I can, but it's a limit. It's all capped out. So she told, told her, honey, my tears were dry. I would get over you. But if you don't sign this prenup, we ain't got nothing else to say. We don't have anything else to say. And we all know she moved hard into that big old mansion. That, that shit, that house probably in her name too. His name probably ain't nowhere in it. So he ain't got no nothing to lay his head or claim to fame. He know he need to stay with Candy. Because he was nothing financially without her. Not on the level that they're playing on now. He was nowhere on that level. Okay. But that was just my pun intended. You know. Psh, I don't. Psh. I don't know what that was going on with him talking about he sat and talked with Ken and Todd. Yeah, you probably had a little side, Baba Todd. Say, man, is it worth it? You know, can it work it? Let me strip down and reverse it. Whatever, you know, Miss Ellie be saying. I'm like, girl, child, you better get in where you fit in. And like I said, Cynthia, get your own lawyer. You're going to see Randy Castle up there. That's who Todd was running to when he was trying to call himself, uh, trying to make sure that contract that Candy wanted. Uh, Candy, her lawyer, wanted him to sign with it in his best interest. <laughs> I thought, I'm like, Todd, get the hell out of here. You're supposed to be the provider. You're supposed to be the man. And you worried about whether you're going to get your just do cut from Candy if this shit don't work out. Boy, you crazy. All right. I see you got a crazy ass um, Mike following in your footsteps. But it just is what it is. Okay, Mike don't want to give up his money. He don't want to take care of Cynthia. Okay, I get it. I got it. Do you have it? Do you get it? Do you got it, Cynthia? All right. Wink, wink. Okay, girl. Okay, then going back to the article, it says she then turned to Hill, who was serving as a bartender on the show, to ask him, but, hmm, you're going, going, women, but you're good with the prenup, right? He'll agree. Hell yeah, he gonna agree because he probably got more money than you, Cynthia. I'm just saying because you've been giving yours away and been squandering it. Then you got no well up there deciding whether she want to be in college, don't want to be in college. Then she says she want to go and um, be a YouTube sensation or she want to get into the acting role. And, oh, girl, uh-uh. Get get her on the road or somewhere where she can make some money on her own, okay? Because she's not your little girl anymore. You always feel the need to take care of her and make, she's, make sure she's provided for. But let her know where to make her own money, girl. Let her make her own money because it seems like you don't slid into two other children that you're going to have to claim the fame and spend your money on them too. So don't let my set you up for the okie doke, girl. Don't let my set you up for the okie doke. But anyway, um... He goes on back to the article and Mike is saying, I've had my money taken before. So he laughed. When the other guest, Bevy Smith, pointed out that Bailey makes her own money, he'll quickly clarify, I'm not implying that she would take my money. I was saying, like, you know, when you come into your relationship with yours is yours and what's mine is mine. And what we made together, we can split if it happens to end that way, which it won't happen to then that way. Uh, they meant to say the end that way. I'm like, nah, you said it nicely. What's yours, yours. What's mine, was mine. And what we made together, we can. Now, is that a marriage? Or that's today's marriage we're looking at? Because I thought what was mine is mine. What is yours is mine, too. You know, you become as one. Everything's lumped up in the same big thing. And that's what it is, okay? But it seems like y'all just going into a contractual agreement. Y'all not really going into what we call the old marriage, the old ways of uh, seeing and viewing things, okay? Just is what it is, all right? We trying to make our own rules, our own new rendition of what a marriage is formulating from, okay? Ooh, child. So it means say if Cynthia gets off of Real Housewives of Atlanta, she don't have the income coming in no more. You're going to throw her out with the baby and the bath water. Everything on quite the window. You're going to treat her like a servant uh, of some sort. You're not going to see her as your equal anymore. Okay, because things do happen like that. People lose jobs every day. Not on no fault of their own half the time, but it just happens. So what you're saying, Mike? Or what you're saying, Cynthia? I don't understand, okay? Y'all need to get y'all priorities right and not let it be spending 
all the time emphasizing on the money, the money, the money. Okay? Because the money going to be here when y'all both dead and gone. Somebody else is going to be enjoying it of all y'all hard work and all y'all sacrifices y'all had to make. Okay? And let's emphasize on the word sacrifice. All right, all right. Entertainment industry. You get where I'm going? Wink, wink. Anyway. Uh, going back to the article, it says, he popped the question to Bailey in July after 14 months of dating. With the $85,000 ring, and she recently told Paige Six Style that her wedding dress would not be traditional. Well, Cynthia, we wouldn't expect anything else because the, the wedding you got married to with Cynthia, I mean, with Peter Thomas, that great shimmering silver dress was a gorgeous, okay, gorgeous, simply fabulous, breathtaking. So we wouldn't expect anything lesser than you topping that uh, regala or that. Uh, costume of a wedding dress when you had uh walked down the aisle with peter thomas now the reference of mike hill putting out or telling b scott and i'm pretty sure mike hill had told b scott the price of the ring or whatnot why would you even have to say it was eighty five thousand dollars mike are you just setting the tone for somebody to come steal it from cynthia knock her over the head and take it from her okay why you have to put a price tag why you had to let everybody know what kind of rain that was and the uh cost of it i mean really cynthia are you gonna be wearing something like that on your hand honey well anybody can come are you gonna be having an entourage around you girl i'm just saying hopefully uh, hopefully might put it in sure i don't know but I don't think anybody need to be walking around with an $85,000 ring on their hand all willy-nilly. You know what I'm saying? So when are you going to just bring it out? When you got your entourage around you, when you got Mike around you all the time, making sure they don't get too close, don't want to hold that hand or shake that hand because you're scared they're going to slide that ring on off. Girl, please, that's too much, too much. Too much, too little, too late. But that's too much of a ring. In today's society, when you ain't got no money, I'm just saying, Cynthia, okay? But moving on from that situation, it says Bailey was previously married to Peter Thomas from 2010 until 2017. Over the weekend, Cynthia and Mike had a wedding shoot. Take a look. And I got some little pictures in there where um, basically I don't understand why they were tempting fate with getting all into this wedding motif type of thing they said it was just for photo shots but i'm like for what did y'all get married and they tell us or, or what, what's going on it's almost like you're jinxing yourselves putting it getting in uh wedding motif materials and and, and playing like you're already married i mean it's uh, i don't know maybe that's a new way of doing things but i just seem like it's more superstitious with me i'm not putting on a wedding gown and doing like this and taking pictures and all of that Unless I'm getting married. You know what I'm saying? I can understand. And I'm not going to put it out there if I was a celebrity. I, this is my gown. This is what I'm going to wear. You know, so everybody know about it. You know what I'm saying? And probably lick it to my... No. Okay? So, I don't know what they can do. If they're making money off this little... Um, photo sh uh, shoot that they were doing okay get it got it good but if they weren't and they would I, i'm like mm -mm, you're setting yourself up for some failure there and like i said maybe i'm just a little superstitious or whatnot but i'm not gonna tempt fate i'm not like that but anyway that's all i pretty much had on this video y'all pretty much tell me what y'all thought about it um do you think it was kind of fair around the board that they got a prenup because it was definitely showing in mike's voice Hell yeah, I ain't walking down the aisle with Cynthia without that paper being signed. Because I, I, you know, I'm pretty much making a little bit more than her. I already saw what she made. And it's a travesty, but no, she can't have none of my money. Uh, we can make our money together. And, and whatever, you know, avenues we go down with the revenue that we made together. Okay, fine, good, got it good. However, what I'm not hearing him say, for better or for worse, if Cynthia somehow just ended up losing all her money you mean to tell me mike wouldn't step in and say okay i got you babe you don't have to work anymore i got you babe so that's all i'm saying y'all that's all i'm saying but uh y'all get down in them comments and as in parting as don cornelius always said on his soul train thing i wish you love peace and I know you got soul because you're over here rocking with me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so at this time, okay? And share and like my videos accordingly. Thank you. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.